Hi everyone, welcome to Scorpio Squad, I'm Julia. For those of you returning, thank you so much for your love and support for me and the channel. For those of you that are new, this is a strictly Scorpio channel. So if you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. And make sure to turn your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. You also may want to check if you already have subscribed, that you're still subscribed, because YouTube has a tendency to... Um, unsubscribe some of the subscribers. I don't know how that happens, but okay. Um, so you may want to check that. And also make sure to hit the like if you enjoyed the video, so that way other Scorpios are aware of the channel and they can get their messages. Uh, Scorpio, I have started off Patreon. Um, the link is down below um, where I will be doing our worldwide chain prayer and also chit chat. We'll be talking about real life stuff and also spirituality. Um, that's one option. Uh, bonus Scorpio readings will be done. This will all be happening on um, the channel Heart Passion Tarot so I can get everybody in one place. Um, and also, I will also do uh, a quick preview, right? You'll get the first look at the 12 uh, Zodiacs uh, love readings for the monthlies, yeah? Um, on there as well. So you can check out the different packages and see which one you'd like. If you're looking for a live tarot card reading from one of my live tarot card readers, there are toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. Mention my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. And remember, Scorpio, when it's time for your birthday, take advantage of my birthday gift to you. It's $10 off your birthday reading. All you got to do when it's time is just give your birthday or your zodiac sign so you can get that gift. Um, where to leave a donation, where to order our official Scorpio Squad merchandise like our tank tops, our tees, our sweatshirts, our coffee mugs, the things I say here on the channel. You can follow the, um, hit the Teespring link to see everything that's in there, okay? So basically everything that you need, telephone numbers, my um, website where you can order a personal love reading from me, it's all listed down below, just click on show more. Today I'm using five decks. Um, the Moonology deck, because we just had a full moon yesterday in Pisces. Um, I'll be using the Whispers of Love, the Animal Oracle, the Shaman Oracle, and then my own private deck. So let's see what we've got. Today is September the 21st. For Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know for today, dear angels? For September the 21st, please. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know, please? What does Scorpio need to know? All right. And I will get cards from the Whispers of Love as well. Right off the bat. I call upon the Divine to come to this reading for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, for September the 21st. All right. So let's start with the Moonology. And then we'll go to our other decks after we're done with these two. Okay, it's time to take action. Okay? It could be about relocating. It could be about your love life. It could be about your career. Um, what you foresee for the future. No more sitting back, Scorpio. It's time to take action. Just like the card says. No more procrastinating. Uh, come up with a plan and follow it through. Okay? And it's time to release any type of negativity. Okay, some of you may be upset about a love relationship. Um, you may be fearful about what's going on outside. Spirit is saying, you know what, just let it go. And, you know, just focus on the here and now, right now, Scorpio. Okay? And just surrender to the divine. Right? Be in the here and now. Um, trust that whatever is unfolding or whatever is happening, um, the divine is overseeing it for you. Okay? And you are ending a tough cycle. A tough cycle is approaching for you. So where you felt like you were stuck, things weren't moving the way you wanted them to move, things are about to take a swift change for you. Okay? And it's saying be bold and take the first move. Again, the same message, right? It's time to take action was the first one. Now it's saying it's time to make a bold move. Right? I feel if there's something that you want to do or you feel is right for you or you're looking for a change, whether it's relocation or doing something else with your career, with your life, you got to make it happen. 
You can't wait for somebody else to make it happen for you. You know? Do whatever you need to do. Come up with a plan. And do what your heart desires, Scorpio. Okay? All right. We've got here, choose love. Let's see. Let me put my glasses on. Choose love, it says. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. Okay, that has to do with everything, with your friendships, with your relationships, how you treat other people, right? Always come from a place of kindness and unconditional love, okay? No matter what's happening, Scorpio, it's so important. And it's important for your own well-being. I feel you're very calm, very peaceful. You're balanced right now, okay? Um, somebody may have upset you as of late, but you know it's just better to just keep everything um, to be understanding yeah the union of hearts a love connection defies explanation there's somebody who's coming to your life or somebody who you're going to meet that you feel this instant uh, soulmate attraction with okay that's unexplainable to you if you don't have it it's coming into your life where you feel like you've known this person all your life so, on the love department, you've got something beautiful there. Physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. You may actually be wanting to go and see the person that you feel this way about. Because you feel it's really important for the two of you to meet eye to eye. Instead of, like, you know, through video calls and conversations and something like that. And you may be taking, making that bold move. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. Like I said... You know, something may have happened, and you're trying to understand from your view, from their view, right? And um, you're getting a clear understanding of where this person is coming from. You may totally look at things completely differently now, too, as well. Maybe about a particular individual. Maybe you were thinking they were a certain way, and now you're, you're, you're seeing uh, below the surface. You know what I mean? But like in a good way. I'm not saying bad things about your person. I'm just saying that um, you're starting to see things with a different eye, right? About life, about your ambitions, your goals, what you want in your life, who you want in your life. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. There's something that's worrying you um, where you may feel like, you know, it's done, it's over. Spirit's saying, no, you know, just have faith. Right? The things happen when they're supposed to happen. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So I feel like you need to be connecting with your angels, with the divine, with God, whatever you believe in. And ask them. Pray for what you need so that you can receive. If your spirituality is strong, ask the divine for what you need so that it can come to you now, Scorpio. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. But I feel you've always been like that, Scorpio. Always giving unconditional love. Okay? There may be somebody very special, a, a special friendship that you have with somebody. And I feel the two of you can talk about anything. Okay? I feel you completely understand where your friend is coming from. And uh, I think there's a mutual caring and love between these two. So I feel like the two of you can open up and discuss whatever is going on or whatever is happening right now or how you feel, how they feel, right? Because it's that kind of connection. All right, let's go to the Shaman Oracle. Let's see what that has about. The Shaman Oracle for Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. For Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know, please? What does Scorpio need to know? Let's do one more pass. What does Scorpio need to know for September the 21st, dear angels? What does Scorpio need to know? There we go. What does Scorpio need to know? I just got to make sure I take them in the order they came out. What does Scorpio need to know? Here we go. All right. Here we go. So it was like this, like this. These two came out afterwards. All right, so let's see what's going on with you. Okay, so there's a waiting period. I feel something has to be completed first before you can take action, Scorpio. I know you're a little impatient. 
you want to get things going. Maybe you want to go somewhere, but some things need to be done first before you can actually take action. So it's okay, you know. Um, be patient, wait for certain things because I feel in this waiting period, certain things are going to change, um, which will give you a better understanding as to how to react or how to move. Okay. Um, lost in space. You need direction. I feel there's a decision that you need to make, but you're not quite sure what exactly is the right decision. So you're needing direction. I would ask um, the divine or meditate or be in your stillness so that you can get the answers that you need in order to take proper action. Okay? It says you're deep, deep, <laughs> deep diver. It's that full moon. Uh, diving into a task it really I mean I feel you're going full force now with your own business trying to get it off the ground uh, because you need to make money you want to make more money that's your thing right now abundance is very important for you so I feel you're really really going to put a lot of effort into your project your work your career um, to make things happen right now which is a very nice energy um, the Divine Feminine, you, you, a lot of you may be the Divine Feminine I'm talking to right now. A lot of you are dealing with your Divine Feminine. So this message is for my masculines. I feel you found your person. Now things may be a little off kilter right now, but I feel um, that things can work out. Time is needed, right? Um, it's also the energies too, right? But I feel you found, I feel that you feel that if you're a Divine Masculine, you feel you have found your Divine Feminine here. Okay, what's really important right now is repairing your body, your mind, and your spirit, getting yourself balanced. Uh, you may have to watch your house, maybe what you're eating, right? Here. The message is, though, that you really need to take really, really good care of yourself right now, Scorpio. It's important. Okay? Uh, protecting the future a lot of you your spiritual path your soul purpose is in any kind of form to protect the future whether it's speaking whether it's healing whether it's but it's definitely working with spirit in some way so this is very important for you and I feel this is what brings you your abundance and your prosperity Scorpio okay you are transforming this is your card you're always transforming and you're changing all the time the most important thing for you right now is to be true to yourself with the um, many masks be true to yourself put down the masks and just be you that's what's so important and especially I feel with what you're doing it's to be genuine to be real to speak your truth right and don't try to portray somebody else who's doing the same thing as you just be you and here you go what did I tell you Overflow. Abundance is coming to you. Here. It is. And I feel you're, you're very grateful for it. And I feel for whatever abundance is coming to you, Scorpio, you are more than willing to give it back to the universe as well. For Scorpio, let's go to my own private deck now. For Scorpio, something is triggering you. What is it? What is it? You want to speak up. You want to speak up, um, possibly to some kind of um, person from your past. Maybe you had a karmic relationship with this person. Okay, some of you may have to end it with a karmic. Um, uh, you close one cycle, a new cycle opens up, right? Again, trust. Trust in the universe that you have something new coming into your life. Again, body care. It's telling you to take really good care of yourself, your health, what you're eating, um, and all that kind of stuff here. Okay? Working out, right? Um, there's a friendship here that may have changed you, or the friendship is going to go to another level here. Be patient. Okay? I feel messages are coming but the two of you will be talking again 
or you're still communicating. For Scorpio, please. Somebody wants a reunion here. Maybe it's you. Okay, we see travel. We see spirituality. For a lot of you, with the travel and the spirituality and the manifestation card, I feel that you feel your spiritual path is taking you somewhere else, maybe different from where you are right now. And you're trying to manifest this change. You're being pulled in a certain direction, Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? Others of you, you have a divine masculine who wants to travel and come towards you to connect with you spiritually. And they're trying to manifest this right now. They are coming up with a plan. Somebody sees their future with you. They also see prosperity with you. Okay? This person's getting a lot of downloads about making a choice about something here to find their happiness. If you're a divine feminine, maybe you are um, thinking that you need to go somewhere else to find your happiness. Uh, whatever this is, whatever choice you're going to make, it's going to transform you here. We also see currently that you could be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame connection. Uh, somebody that may have hurt you in the past, I feel you've turned that hurt into being creative, um, being really focused on your work, starting something new. I feel here you're dealing with um, a divine masculine who's also your emperor here. Could be a Libra. Could be somebody who has to do with the justice system. Uh, maybe somebody's an attorney. I don't know. But I feel here... Uh, We're talking about somebody who's going to fall in love with you and who sees a future with you and wants to marry you here. Scorpio. If you're divine feminine. Okay. So something is... Something is coming back into balance. And I see, I'm see i seeing that you're going to have a lot of gratitude and it's going to bring you a lot of um, inner peace. And this person is, is so knowledgeable, right? You're going to be able to have a new beginning here. This is somebody who's very much like you. <clears throat> Root chakra and intuition. So it's all about... Um, you intuitively know there's also um, a lot of inspiration coming between you and this person okay you may be uh, somebody may try to control this person from coming towards you that's why you're in separation that's a message for somebody um, but there's going to be healing and there's going to be a brand new start no matter how hard somebody tries to keep your person away from you Okay, we also see that there is some anxiety with this separation or this person trying to break free to be able to come to you. You're both kind of mirroring one another here. I feel this person, you're not talking right now, okay? But you both know that you're going to land up together in the future together here. The divine is stepping in. And if you are a divine feminine, my feminines right now, my empress is um, the divine is stepping in to bring you passion to bring you abundance to bring you everything right now because I think if you're a divine feminine you've already learned everything you needed to learn you know your self worth alright let's see what the animal oracle spirit cards want to say I love you Scorpio here we go clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio Two popped out right away. Wow. Powerful. 
Reclaim your power, Scorpio. Look at you. I wouldn't want to mess with you. <laughs> hmm. Reclaim your power. Okay? There may be certain people that you need to just push away that are toxic. Yeah? Um, you need to stand in your strengths about what you want. What you're, you know... Um, there may be other people that disagree with the choices that you're making. You have to stand firm and do what you feel is right for you. Um, also, you know, know that you have the ability to do whatever you want to do, create whatever you want to create. You've got to get back into your power here. Your next message is fight or spirit. Make your dreams real. And that spirit saying to you, listen, you have an idea. You have something that you want to do. Okay? You can't just sit there and expect for it to fall from the sky. Come with the idea. Come at least with something. And spirit will work with you hand in hand and guide you to be able to make this web. All right? So it's all about making your dreams a reality. Um or your own business, or your project, or whatever. Spirit's there for you, but you have to take initiative, okay, in order for it to happen. I mean, in order for it to progress and become into something that you really want, okay? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you over on Patreon. Don't forget the link is in the description box. And I will see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses you. I'll be safe for me out there, okay? And I'll talk to you real soon.